Hello students, how is the study going on? Well, let's begin. So see this is an old CRT television. Here the CRT means the cathode ray tube. Okay. Uh, so a device like television which is a combination of many components. So it has like the picture tube, speaker and the basic power circuit. Okay. So this is uh, what is present behind your old CRT TV. Now every component requires a different amount of current. So how can different current be provided to different components? So for that we will be using resistors. Okay. So by using resistors different current can be provided to different components. Alright. Uh, next is resistance can be connected in two ways. First one is the series and the second one is the parallel connection so see here uh, in the circuit given here we can see that the resistors are connected one after the another like R1, R2, R3 in the circuit so current in the circuit remains the same okay there is no change of current it will remain the same in case of series connection now in case of parallel connection as you can see here that between two points the current gets divided but potential difference remains the same so see current gets divided as you can see here the current is coming from this way and it has been divided into three different ways right so in parallel connection currents get divided but here the potential difference remains same moving to the next slide we can see that Derive a formula for effective resistance for three resistances connected in series and prove that R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is a circuit where we can see that three resistors are connected of different values in series connection and connecting it with a battery, an emitter and a plug key. Then we insert a voltmeter for resistor 1 then for resistor 2 and for resistor 3 and marked it as V1, V2 and V3 respectively. Then we insert a voltmeter across the ends A and B of the series combination of the three resistors. Then we marked it as V. So V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 and marked it as equation 1. Now according to Ohm's law, we know that V equal to I R S. Here R S means your series connection so v1 equal to ir1 v2 equal to ir2 and v3 equal to ir3 now substitute the values for v v1 v2 and v2 in equation 1 then we will get this so see this is nothing but simple mathematical derivation which you can easily solve okay so here see for rs it is the effective resistance in series okay now for n number of resistances we have R S equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus dot 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 R N. Okay. So effective resistance in series R S is the sum of the individual resistances. The individual resistances means this one R1, R2, R3. Alright. Okay. So draw this diagram and make the required corrections. So can you find out what are the corrections we need to make here? So first one is C. The current is flowing, but before the plug key was off. It's not possible the plug key is off and the current is flowing. So we have to mark the plug key on. Then we see where is the emitter and the voltmeter. It has been placed wrong position, right? So let us correct it. We have to put the emitter here. Okay. Then see the terminals. Uh, current is flowing from negative to positive. It is not like that. Current flows from positive to negative. Then mark the voltmeter here with the terminals positive and negative. Yeah, it is done now. Now, write the derivation of resistance in series. Just now we learned, I guess you can uh, write the derivation by now, okay? Set the time for 3 minutes and try to write it. Okay, I'm helping you. So this is your derivation. It's very easy. You just need to practice it. 
and keep the formulas in mind okay these are the formulas that you need to know okay now see derive a formula for effective resistance for three resistances connected in parallel and prove that 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 so see this is a circuit connected in parallel the resistors are connected in parallel r1 r2 and r3 where a voltmeter has been connected between the point c and d now we can see that the current i is divided into uh, three parts the i1 i2 and i3 so voltmeter has been connected and we know that voltmeter uh, has a material having infinite resistance okay now for i equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 mark it as equation one then again according to ohm's law it is v equal to i r so i equal to v by r p i1 equal to v by r1 i2 equal to v by r2 and i3 equal to v by r3 so substitute the values for i i1 i2 and i2 in equation one then we will get so this is same like your series connection you just need to rearrange it here so this is simple mathematical derivation okay so see here uh, we got a 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 where rp is your effective resistance in parallel before it was effective resistance in series here rp means it is an effective resistance parallel so for n number of resistances we have 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 plus 1 by rn okay easy i guess okay so the reciprocal of effective resistance in parallel rp is the sum of the reciprocals of the individual resistances so see uh, these are the individual resistances r1 r2 r3 right so the reciprocal of the individual resistances is the res uh, effective resistance in parallel now what are the i'm oh, sorry write the derivation of resistance in parallel so this is uh, almost solving but you need to fill it up as you can see here the blanks are given so set the time and try to fill it up okay well i'm solving it for you here it's very easy just like the series connection and don't get confused between the two okay so this is done well moving to the next slide how are the appliances connected at home series or parallel so what will happen if appliances are connected in series so see here this is the main supply of current now the current is flowing from uh, flowing to all the three appliances okay so same current flows through freeze tv and iron now what happens if one appliance is uh, switched this off all the appliances will be off if one appliance is switched this off okay so that is the demerit for a series connection at home Hence, at home, appliances are not connected in series. Are you clear now? Okay. What will happen if appliances are connected in parallel? So, see, this is the main supply where connect uh, is flowing to all the appliances. Now, we can see that different current flows through fridge, TV, and iron. Even if now one appliance is switched off, another appliance will still work. And set home appliances are connected in parallel and it is very useful because parallel connection at home because sometimes we need to watch TV and maybe turn off the iron and the uh, refrigerator so what is what might happen if it is in uh, series connection if we turn off the TV then both the two appliances will be off but that doesn't happen in parallel connection so that is the merit for parallel connection in home appliances okay now how is meter at our home connected so this is a meter i guess everyone has seen this so how it is connected in series parallel or mixed well it is connected in series now the current that flows in our house has to flow from meter 
Now how are appliances connected in drawing room? Well, the appliances connected in drawing room are, are parallel. So if one switch is on, only one appliance will work. Okay, in the next slide there is a question. What are the advantages of connecting electrical devices in parallel with the battery instead of connecting them in series? Okay, so write the advantage number one. When a number of electrical devices are connected in parallel, each device gets the same potential as the supplied voltage. Due to this, other devices are not affected if one device fails. In series connection, if one device fails, the circuit breaks and others stop working. So what happens uh, when you connect the electrical devices in parallel, then each device gets the same potential as the supplied voltage. So due to this, all the devices are not affected if one device fails. Clear? Whereas in series connection, if one device fails, the circuit breaks and others stop working. So that is the demand for series connection. Next point is, the parallel circuit divides the current through the electrical devices. Thus, each device gets proper current depending on its resistance. Whereas in series circuit, same current flows through all the devices irrespective of their resistance. So here, in parallel circuit, the current gets devices through the electrical devices. So, each device gets proper current depending on their resistance. But in series connection, the current flows through all the devices. The same current flows through all the devices irrespective of their resistance. Is that clear? Okay, the third advantage is the total circuit resistance can be reduced by connecting the devices in parallel. So this is simple. I hope you understood the total circuit resistance can be reduced only by parallel connection in the devices. Uh, so students, this is all about your electricity chapter. I hope it is useful to you and do not forget to share it with your friends. And do download our app and the link is given in the description box uh, to do the live classes and to interact with me where you can come up with your doubts.